episode of our Liturgies 101 series where we're teaching you through some of the basic elements of liturgies.com. I'm Ryan Dahl, and I'm here with Matthew Price, and we're today going to look at the library. The library is uh, an incredible volume of digital content that we have extracted from a massive encyclopedia series, and it continues to grow. And we're hoping it can be a great encouragement to you as you're looking for resources and information and planning your worship services. So Matthew, you've actually been a part of compiling and editing a lot of this content for years that go far beyond liturgies.com. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your role in this uh, great series of, uh, of content and information and books and articles and how people can get access to it. Well, thanks, Ryan. Yes, this actually began, uh, it's hard to believe, it's hard for me to believe now, but this actually began about two decades ago uh, when uh, an author named Robert Weber, uh, I was working at a publishing company, uh, Abbott Martin Press, and Robert Weber came to us and said that he'd like to put together an eight-volume set that would uh, cover in a comprehensive matter, manner all the uh, subjects related to Christian worship. And so... Uh, we released that. It became um, uh, a, uh, a mammoth work. Uh, it included uh, hundreds of contributors uh, from 60 different denominations and traditions, thousands of, uh, of entries and articles. And uh, as you can see here, as, as Ryan is, uh, as Ryan mentioned, uh, it, it, it covers uh, Old and New Testament worship, uh, the history of, of Christian worship. Uh, renewal of Sunday morning worship, music and the arts, uh, the Christian year, the Christian calendar, uh, the, uh, the uh, ministries of Christian worship, sacred actions. Uh, it, it covers the entire gamut of, uh, of Christian worship. What we are doing, as Ryan alluded to, we, we, have this, we have this tremendous foundation of material for premium subscribers. Over the next uh, few months, we're going to be adding to this significantly. Uh, we'll we'll uh, be adding thousands and thousands of, uh, of resources uh, that include everything from uh, uh, sections on theology, church history, Bible reference, uh, material that can be used for small group studies, uh, studies in the home with, uh, among families, uh, studies related to Christian life, uh, so there will be thousands of, sec uh, of uh, articles all organized within these sections. And uh, it, it's something that, uh, that uh, Ryan, I know uh, when we first started talking about this project, you were, you were very excited about. I think you mentioned at the time that, that, to your knowledge, this was the only place where this kind of material has been gathered in, in one location. That's right. And, in fact, we're having numerous universities who are coming to us uh, specifically wanting their students to subscribe to liturgies and have this library as a required textbook for their studies. So this is you know, a great resource for students, whether you're in school or you're just a student of the Word and worship doing ministry in your church. It's all accessible. And we're talking literally, like I think in this whole encyclopedia, wasn't there about 600 contributors and uh, um, more than 2,000 yeah. articles? just as a start, and as Matthew alluded to, it's only going to grow and grow and grow. So this is all available to you, and as you can see as I'm navigating through it, when you go to the actual library page, you start out with uh, seven or eight sections, and all of these sections are actually, you know, if you have ever heard of or seen the uh, Encyclopedia of Christian Worship, these were the seven or eight volumes. I think it's seven sections, but one of the volumes was split into two. So these yeah, are those music, encyclopedias yeah. right here. One of them was called Music and the Arts and Christian Worship. But this entire thing is all digital, and you can just basically navigate down through from the volume right into all of the sections and the subchapters and the chapters and find exactly what you're wanting and, uh, and use that to uh, enhance and, uh, and give depth and breadth to your planning and your own basic knowledge about uh, worship, and worship design and worship planning as it's been going on for, for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. 
Yes, and and um, as you were mentioning, Ryan, it, it encompasses virtually every Protestant tradition and denomination, mm-hmm. and that's that's one thing that uh, I think should be emphasized here for for the whole of liturgies. Uh, uh, liturgies, yeah. uh, by by its very name, uh, would suggest high church worship, but but every every tradition practices some form of liturgies, and so or some form of liturgy, and so. Here you'll get information, whether you're Nazarene or Anglican, uh, Mennonite, you will, get, uh, you will get information that is applicable to your tradition. Yes, agreed, Brett. I mean, here is an entire section focused on the renewal of Sunday worship, and, and a lot of that goes into some of the more charismatic traditions. So, like you're saying, liturgical worship, especially as we are using it in liturgies that dot com does not refer to traditional worship. It just refers to the the thoughtful and theological design of worship. And that's why, you know, we emphasize that word design. It's kind of a contemporary term that that talks about, you know, the thoughtful uh planning of uh of worship experiences that take people through uh, you know, the, a retelling and a re-experiencing of the story of the gospel every week, and that's what we do in our churches. So, uh, so this is available to premium subscribers. If you're not a subscriber to liturgies, then you're going to find yourself able to navigate through much of this. But when you actually get to an article at the end, you're going to find a screen that's inviting you to subscribe. So that subscription opportunity is right up in the top left. And uh, we've tried to make it uh, low cost and uh, very easy to have unlimited access. The library is only one of many uh, uh, amazing resources that we have available at liturgies.com, and it's all available for that one monthly or annual price. So we invite you to take part in that with us and watch this library grow. It's awesome to see it uh, digital and available around the world on the internet. Thank you, Matthew, for all your work in pulling this together. Thanks, Ryan.